Hello all you boys and girls, it's Michael here from Miniature Painting. Today we are going to paint a Game Workshop War Scryer Citadel. It's finally here, I have built it, I have primed it in storm vermin fur. And um, yeah, this is going to be a big project. By the time of filming this, I have already finished it of course. But um, yeah, it was a big project. I'm really proud of it, how it became, and uh, this is how I did it. So we start with Incubi Darkness for the stonework. And the stonework, which means all the housing. So not the uh, rough rocks, not the uh, wood. Gnome oil is next. So we dabbed it all over the stonework, which we just did with Incubi Darkness. done we are going to have some black black for the stones why black you say well basically because I wanted to have a separate part of rock and stonework uh, in, in a slightly different color so this is why I'm going to use two colors for basically the same product cool thing is that you will notice a slight difference when it's finished and that's pretty cool There you go. So more black, and we're going to use it for these skulls. Take care here, because you already um, washed and painted all the housework. So uh, need to be careful about that. That's a little bit harder to correct than just to be careful with painting. And of course, do all these skulls. This is just one. Just do them all. Here's some cold grey, we're going to do the uh, stones and basically the whole miniature. Is this called a miniature? It's more a maxiature. <laughs> so there you go. I used it the same color because it's still the same stone. Uh, just done by the builders a little bit different than the regular stone and stonework. There you go. After that we're going to use some stone wall grey. Of course to have these stones a bigger accent to give the stones a bigger accent as you can see right here don't forget the bridge as well and there you go there comes the color there comes the stone and this is starting to look like a pretty awesome model painted There you go, last brush, and here comes the brush part. Now it's off to the wood, and as I told before, or at least on the Facebook pages where I'm uh, pretty busy, we're going to do it in the same way as I painted the Citadel Woods. So we start with a big coat, nice big coat of dried bark. The main theme about this is I'm going to build a table with the Sigmarite Mausoleum, the Citadel Woods and the Warscryer Citadel. All the parts from the Mausoleum have been taken about uh, from the same stones as the base of Agrax Earthshade here. All over the wooden parts. So wh what I wanted to say was uh, all of the stonework will be coming out of the Warscryer Citadel stones and all the woodwork came off the wood of the citadel woods second color for the wood is gorthor gorthor brown give it a good dry brush solid coat and then off to some zandri dust which is the last part a really sneaky zandri dust here which is the last part of the woodwork. 
There you go. After that, we're going to use some Dark Star. What is it? Blackened Bronze. This is a color which came out of the uh, acid drop of February. And I think it's a real cool color because it's an old bronze which you basically can see uh, just after it dried up. So it isn't really visible right now, but trust me guys, this is one hell of a cool color. I actually don't know where you can get some dark dark uh, paints, I need to find out for you. The roofs are going to be painted with Nihilac Oxide. I didn't shake the pot just well enough as you can see right here, so it needs another layer. And with a normal shake, just use two layers of Nihilac Oxide on all the roof tiles. Should be sufficient to have a cool roof. There you go, see now there's the shaken pot. Just blob it on there. After that, we're going back with Agrax Earthshade all over the roof. Why Agrax Earthshade, you say? Well, that's basically a thin down brown. And where Game Workshop's videos brushed off the brown from the roof, I just let it sit there and used a different color to finish it off because the roof looks really, really dirty right now and I really love that look. It's a hard to reach place, so it won't be cleaned as much as you want it to have to, because that Warch Carriage Citadel isn't just really reachable on the top layers. So besides the fact that this looks pretty good, in my opinion, it also is, well, basically fluff-wise, correct? Don't forget under the roof. There you go. And here's the trick. Go back to Zandri Dust again and dry brush the whole thing. Now you really can't see it that good. But if you just wait a second, I have a surprise for you. Of course I do have a surprise for you. Here is a cat at eight times the speed of cat. See, this is a surprise. See the lines? Pretty cool. Pause it if you want. Now off with Ushapti Bone for the skulls in the citadel. What would a Warhammer <laughs> a tower or structure be without some skulls? Some really cool skulls on them. After you're done with that, dry brush of um, wash them with Agrax Earth Shade, and then back to Shapti Bone for a good dry brush. And that basically finishes the whole model. You can go into details with that. You can go further into details. There's a lot and a lot and a lot more details to go over. But I think it's pretty much finished to a tabletop standard. And that's what this channel is all about. You can also see the video on MTG and more. But for now, thank you for watching. Here's some pictures of the finished product. Please subscribe for more videos like this. May the dice be forever in your favor. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you for watching.